Surfing the light. It's a drop dead gorgeous evening. Just thought I'd do a little one on lettuce. It's been a while since I've done any kind of update on that. Just uh, show a little view first of how it looks here. Everything's looking quite, quite great tonight. Indian Vizalis. Tomatoes are looking great. Here's the first lettuce family plant. This is Saltus, which is a Chinese variety of lettuce where you grow stalks, thick stalks like that, and that's the stalks that are the vegetable. In this case, I'm growing it for seed. It's giving a nice head of seed here. I'm loving this section. We've got Indian Fisalis up front. Tomatoes in the back. Look at that. It's all one plant. One monster atriplex hortensis. Four meter long. It's fallen over. It's huge. I've got thousands and thousands and thousands of seeds. These beautiful kakuzi gourds, which make the most beautiful flowers, I think. They come out at night, look oh, great. And then uh, these are the big, huge leaves, which kind of smell a little bit burnt, actually, kind of a nice toasted smell. This is the shinshu bean. And up here we've got a mix. Shinshu bean, Kakuzi gourd, Blauhild bean, and the beautiful yams. Cardinopsis.
Japanese yams and beans. Here I'm processing lettuce seeds. This is an early bolting lettuce variety. And I'm just, just taking off all the stalks. Loads of seed. Here's the variety. I'm trying out all these different varieties. You can see that's what it looks like when it's going to seed the tip. How gorgeous. This one's not super early compared to some of the other ones. It's going to be interesting to see which ones make it and which ones don't in terms of usually the problem is either they come they go to seed too early or too late. And this one I think has got a lot of potential beautiful leaves. It's not got any kind of mold or rust around the base, so it's just stayed clean all the way down. There's not any kind of sign of sickness on it. There's the pawpaw in front. Slowly making progress. It, the leaves look just gorgeous. No sign of disease. And look at these heads. Gorgeous, gorgeous heads that are about to flower. Leak seeds, of course, there's leak all over the place here. These are all F6 hybrids. So we're starting on F7 this year. It's gonna be interesting to see what comes of it. Here's another one, which I think this is actually the outrageous. The famous outrageous, which is, seems to be doing quite well. It's a little bit behind the other one, but not much. So both of these two are the ones that have the most potential. This one too has not been too sick, but as you can see down here, there is some fungal growth down at the bottom, but nothing compared to this one was really not good. I've managed to dry it out. Flashy lights, this one is called. And it's also doing pretty good. You can see that flowers are coming now. Won't be long. Got some nice flowers on this one. And this is what they look like before they before they go. Ah, got a poor dragonfly stuck up in my greenhouse here. It's never fun to see a beautiful animal like that get stuck. But I have to say, this is the first time that's happened. And I'm hoping this guy is gonna figure it out. I love dragonflies. Uh, anyway. Amaranth's looking good. There's another variety that's also doing pretty alright. Lots of amaranth. Including chard in here. There's Atriplex retensis. Here's spinach. And uh, loads of butternut buttercup. I'm trying to cross this buttercup with this other maxima. They're both around 90 days, and my hope is to cross these two. I'm not going to say what that other one is yet, but um, cross them and see. I've got some advice from an expert grower in the States. I said that I should try those two varieties since I love 
buttercup. Here's another buttercup variety as well that's in the mix. Secret recipe. Tomatoes. Lots of tomatoes. Doing great. There's fenugreek. Major Blitzer tenses. Another half. 